Well, welcome to my IGCSE students. Uh, this is a short, hopefully, video on uh, a few of the techniques and skills that you're going to need to be able to do exercises 8.2, 8.3, and 8.4. So quickly, uh, we will look at some of the techniques in 8.2. Uh, we were using the quadratic formula yesterday in school, so hopefully you're familiar with that. Um, but there are some questions where you're going to need to rearrange things. So let me just give you one example, or maybe two, um, from, let me see, five, question five, um, B. Okay, because I think that's one that you don't have. Okay, so we've got something like this. We've got x into x plus two is equal to nine minus two x. Now, what we want to do is we want to expand our brackets. Um, so we should have this as our next line. And then we want to pull everything across to the one side so that we end up with a quadratic formula. So I should get this. If I pull this, this 9 across, it becomes a negative 9. And if I pull this, positive, uh, this negative 2x across, it becomes positive 2x. And I add that to the positive 2x I've already got. Okay. Now I'm going to apply my quadratic formula. x is equal to minus b. In this case, it's minus 4, because b is 4. And then plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 4 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is minus 9, and that should all be over 2 times a, which is 2 times 1. Now I'll just grab my calculator. Okay. And when we pop this into our calculator, um, we're going to get two answers. The first answer that I'm getting is, um, hold one second, okay, uh, so I think it should be 1 point x equals uh, 1 point 6, uh, we're doing two decimal places here, 1 point 61, and then I just change the uh, sign to a minus there, and then my um, Next one would be negative 5.61. Okay, so those would be my two answers. So in this exercise, you might need to do a little bit of rearranging before you can get it in the correct format. So remember, ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. That's the form you want it in. And then your just the uh, quadratic formula is x equals, so the value of x to solve this will be minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c, where uh, a and b are coefficients of the x squared and x terms, and c is a constant, all over 2a. So that's how you do those, just to refresh your memory. Now I'll give you one more example from this exercise. Um, sometimes you have to solve uh, some questions like, uh, let's see, um, 6b. You'll notice here, it's similar to the one that you've got to do, we've got something like this, x minus 11 over x is equal to 2. And so what I'm going to do here, my first step would be to times the whole thing by x. Okay, And what that will do, this first term will become x squared, the second term will just become minus 11, right? Because the x's will cancel out. And on the right-hand side of the equation, we'll have 2x. And now we bring everything across. Your x squared minus 2x minus uh, 11 equals to 0. And then we're going to apply the quadratic formula. Um, so I would get x equals... Um, Okay, I'm going to get two values here for x. I think it should be 4.46, and the other one should be negative 2.46. Okay, I think that will be those, those values there. Now, let's move on to exercise 8.2. Um, 
let me just have a quick chat to you about what the discriminant is, what it means. Um, for that, I'm just going to grab this here and pop that down here as well. Oops, that's not quite what I intended. Okay. So here's our formula. And the discriminant is this bit here under the square root. Okay. And I think you can see that um, if we think about that b squared minus 4ac, there's three possibilities. We could get uh, it being either greater than 0, or we could get it being equal to 0, or we could get it being less than 0. Okay, those are three the three options that b squared minus 4ac could be. Now, when you get a number uh, greater than 0, that's a positive number, isn't it? And the square root of a positive will give you a positive value. And you can see that when you add or subtract that positive value, you're going to get two roots or answers to your equation. Okay? Because um, if you're plus or minusing a positive number, you're going to end up with two different answers. Okay? Now, imagine if b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0, um, and you try and apply this plus or minus bit here. You can see that if you add 0, you will get the same answer as if you subtract 0. So we say in this case that we have one root or one answer. And then if we get a negative number under the square uh, root, we have zero roots. Now, your calculator will give you a math error. Um, and so uh, you, you will get no answers here. Now, if we go further on in maths, um, there's, there's a little bit more to this. Uh, and we'll talk about complex numbers and imaginary numbers. But for our stage, we're just going to say zero roots, so there's going to be no solutions for us. So that is the discriminant. Now, let me apply this um, to, to a few examples. Um, let me do, I'll just do a couple of the ones that you've got. Okay. We've, so 1a, x squared plus 9x minus 12 is equal to 0. So we're going to use our discriminant b squared minus 4ac. Now let's try it. b squared, so it's going to be 9 squared. Take away 4 times 1, because there's a coefficient is 1 here of the x, times minus 12 equals. Now that's 81. And what else have we got? 81 take away, oh, it's 81 plus uh, 48. So we're getting a positive number, I think it's 129. So therefore, there will be two roots, or two solutions to this equation. Okay, you don't have to go and solve it, it's just asking you for the roots. How many roots? Now let's try b. Okay, x squared minus 6x plus 9. Let's try b squared minus 4ac again. b squared minus 4ac. So b in this case is minus 6. So remember when you're doing this in the calculator, put your brackets around there. Minus 6 squared minus 4 uh, times, uh, now what's a in this case? 1 times 9. Now, negative 6 all squared is 36. And then we're going to be taking away 4 nines of 36. So we end up with 0. Therefore, one root. Now, you actually already probably know this. If we factorized this, we would get x minus 3 squared. Sorry, I should have had an equal 0 there. Equals 0, right? And you know that x is just equal to 3. There's only one result there. Okay? Hopefully that makes sense. All right. 
So essentially, if you've got two roots, your, your equation will look something like this. You'll have it passing through the x-axis in two points. That's two roots. Uh, if you've got one root, like this one here, Oh, but you can, well, it's very hard to draw on this thing, but you'll see that would be one root. Now, let's see, hopefully this next one will be no roots. Let's see. x squared plus 8x, yes, I think it will be plus 20. Um, so we're going to use our b squared minus 4ac again. And if we chuck those numbers in, we get 8 squared minus 4 times 1 times 20. And that equals to... Uh, 64 subtract 80, so we get negative 16. Uh, and since it's less than zero, that's zero roots. So no answers to this for us. And what this would look like if we were to sketch this uh, graph, and you could try it on Desmos if you want, but you're going to get something that looks like this. The quadratic uh, function will not cross the x-axis. Okay. So that is a little introduction to the discriminant. Um, I will now do uh, one example from exercise uh, uh, 8.4. And the example that I will do, I won't do one that you're doing. I'm going, to, I'm going to do three. I'm going to do example three. Okay. So here's example three. I'll just quickly uh, sketch out what we've got. So we've got a triangle. Looks vaguely like this. It's a right angle triangle even though mine doesn't look like it. I know that this is x plus 3 and I'm told that this is x plus 4. That's a right angle. And I also know uh, that the area I'm told that is equal to 38 centimeters squared. So all we do here is we use our half base times height formula. Half x plus 3 which is the base, and I'll put it in brackets because it's that's the whole base is x plus 3, and then times the height, which all of it is x plus 4, and that should be equal to 38. Now I'm going to get rid of this 2 by timesing everything by 2. So my next line will read x plus 3 into x plus 4, and then I've got to also double the other side, so this should be 76. Now I'm going to expand uh, my brackets using foil x squared and I should get uh, 3x and 4x, which ends up being 7x, plus 12, equals 76. I pull everything across, and I've got 12 subtract 76, and that gives me 64. Uh, so it should be negative 64 uh, equals 0. And now we're going to use our, um, can we factorize that? I don't think so. I think we're going to use our, um, our quadratic formula. Um, so this is the formula we're going to use. Let's try that. So it'll be minus 7 plus or minus the square root of 7 squared minus 4 times 1 times negative 64 all over 2 times 1. And we're going to plug that into our calculator to get our two answers. So what do we get here? Um, no, not a math error. Um, 7, K, okay, and then... Oh, no. I think I've made a mistake there. Okay. Uh, it should be 5.23. So x equals 5.23, and the other one would be minus 12.23. Now, I'm just going to go back and check some answers, because I feel like I may have pushed the wrong buttons on my calculator for some of these other ones um, right at the top here. So let me just quickly check them again. Oh, that was right. Oh, that was right as well. 
Alright, I think everything's okay there. Alright guys, good luck with these, and I will uh, hopefully get another video out for you tomorrow. Take care.